my beautiful Cancerians. How are you? Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your read for July part one. Please only take what resonates as per usual. Do not try to make this fit. If it's not yours, check out your sun, moon, rising signs and the 48 hourly reads. I just want to say a huge thank you for the donations to the channel. I really appreciate it because we're a new channel. We don't really make anything. So thank you. It's very, 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 very kind of you. So can we have two oracles, please, for our beautiful beautiful cancerians we have do what you desire lovely and one of these if i can pick them up for july what do they need to see angel spirit guys please thank you so much we have marriage oh it's beautiful it's it's your month right what do you desire you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Beautiful. And we have marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfilment and unconditional love. Oh, beautiful Cancerians. Right, let's get you into your read. What do we have then? Angel Spirit Guides can have six major cards for our beautiful Cancerians. We have in past energy, the Seven of Swords. We have justice in the current. We have the Queen of Pentacles in hidden influence. Wowzers. Talk about a change in frequency. We have the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. We have the Four of Cups and the Emperor. And we have the Four of Pentacles and death in reverse. Okie dokie. Let's have a look, see. Wonderful. Okay, the Seven of Swords then. Can I have some clarifiers? Thanks. Okie dokie. And, yeah, if you want that one. Okay. Ooh. And you want that, yeah. Okay. Can we have... Justice, balancing, currently. Ooh, flipping Nora. Guys, right, we have, wow, says, the star energy. We have strength, the three of swords, the six, the ten of swords, and the hermit. Got you. Lovely. That's a read in itself, my beautiful Cancerians. Right, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is clarified with a six of cups. What else do we need to see for the room? Thank you. The world. Lovely. Queen of Wands and Hyphen, please. Queen of Wands and Hyphen. Queen of Pentacles. Any more for that? No? No. Okay. Four of Cups and Emperor. Four of Cups and Emperor, please. Angel Spirit Guides, thank you so much. Wowzers. Wowzers. Lovely, thank you. And the Four of Pentacles and Death in Reverse. What is this about? Thank you. Boom. Any more? Okay, okay. Thank you so, so much. And at the bottom, we have the Emperor. Put your blooming crown on. And the other one, we have the Hangman. Gain this enlightenment. You feel something coming. You feel a change in frequency, don't you, my beautiful Cancerian? So I'm going to grab my cup of tea, take a seat, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians. This is beautiful, beautiful. So do what you desire and marriage. You're attracting emotional fulfillment, which is huge, and unconditional love. So we are starting with the past energies and we have the major card of the Seven of Swords. So that tells me somebody in your midst, and I believe it's at work because we've got the Eight of Pentacles, has been, they've been unethical basically and it's like the Thief card, they're They've upskittled your energy and we've had this quite a few times come out in your 
read Cancerians. You know, somebody at work has caused you a little bit of misery. But what's happened is the universe has given you a new seed of hope. They've handed you a pentacle and they've said with the Ace of Pentacles, the new seed to the material world and it de it's promised like to develop. And this is something you've worked blooming hard for. So if somebody's trying to stop you getting a position, you've had to be savvy in the situation and you've had to be savvy at work with the Seven of Swords. So you're taking the swords there. You're not... It's almost like a transmutation. You're aware of this person doing this to you. And you've said, okay, if you're going to do that, I'm going to take the sword. So therefore, you can't actually fight. And that's absolutely amazing because I believe this person's an utter arse. And I'm just going to say that as it is. And this is past energies. So you've gained your knowledge you've gained your skill set you've improved on every single level and i believe this person is jealous of it and it's that simple now because the current situation we have justice this is the balance and the scales this is justice on your side and what happens it's balance and equality coming in this is karma playing out and the karma is going to play out for this person when they direct you a negative frequency my beautiful cancerians it's always bounced back know that justice does prevail and the universe serves it in many different ways especially if they've been that nasty to you or the thieved from you or anything like that it actually does bounce back on them so this is justice this is karma balancing out the writing of the wrongs now with the star energy it says you are the star energy this is your dream desires and following those stars it's also healing after this time you need your inner strength during this time absolutely because you know it's your perseverance you now have no limitations and you can move forward in this position knowing that you are a superstar basically we have the three of swords there just tells me it's absolutely hurt your heart during this process because you are all heart energy my beautiful cancerians and you know it's it's actually hurt your your heart and justice has to prevail and you've had to be savvy and because your heart energy, that can go against how you feel. But in this situation, it was very, very necessary. What they're saying is it's moving to karma waters because you were stabbed in the back, but you found your inner light with the hermit. This is healing. This is growth. This is returning to self and gaining that clarity and finding that light in your lantern. So you are going to karma waters. Justice is prevailing in the current situation. So you will see it playing out before your eyes. And this is actually your dream desires, the justice, because... When the writings of wrongs comes in, then that is the universal balance, my beautiful Cancerians, and it needs to happen. It might hurt your heart to see, absolutely, because you're all heart energy, but it is going to calm the waters, and you need to know that. Now, hidden influence is you, the Queen of Pentacles. You've got all your ducks in the row. This is absolutely phenomenal to see. She's very practical. She's financially responsible, down to earth, and compassionate. And the influ hidden influence is yourself and all your ducks in a row. Now, you do have something there from the past, popping in and what it's saying is it's going to help you start this new cycle because the world is the completion of the cycle you know the naked dancer holds two wands and she's when something finishes and this new cycle begins because this is a hidden influence this is enabling you to create this the worlds are the secret doorways to the universe you know it's everything is one it's a new beginning it's success will be fulfilled and it's accepting ourselves and our full selves and this is a hidden influence so something from the past is going to pop its head in but it's actually hidden influence it enables you to develop yourself and end that cycle and move forward with life now obstacles like how can this be an obstacle we've got the queen of wands which is creating whatever you want basically you give her obs you give her eggs she makes an omelette with the hierophant and the queen of pentacles so how can this possibly be a obstacle well what happens here is sometimes you have an inner knowing and you're creating this movement forward and you're worried about your pentacles and your stability. So if this is a new position, it's causing you upheaval. If this is a new level up, it's causing you upheaval, thinking you can't do it. Will it affect your pentacles moving forward? And because you, you're so stable and you're worried about it upsetting your stability... That's what it's saying. This new creation of energy, this new avenue forward. You know, you've got this inner knowing almost and you're thinking, will it upset? But you have an opportunity. Now, they want you to be aware of this because after this prevails and this plays out, this opportunity is going to come to you because this is what you should do. Do not miss the opportunity because it's something related boss wise. That, that Putting your blooming crown on. You're not the queen. 
is the emperor. So you need to boss up, put your crown on. This is for your wealth. This is for your growth. This is going to bring your pentacles in. So this opportunity is not going to necessarily, is, it's not going to affect your financial stability. It could be, is it going to affect your home stability with your marriage there, you see? You're worried about it upsetting the home dynamics. And that's the only obstacle I can see because this opportunity is coming into you. They want you to boss up and wear the crown because it's for your wealth and lay the swords down when you lay the swords down it's also getting in touch with your spirit guides absolutely your intuition doing meditation but what it's saying is tune in because this opportunity is coming to you they want you to boss up and you're worried about it messing up the stability as in the home dynamics your relationship you know it's probably going to take a lot more time than you thought it was and it's upskittling the household but it's for your wealth and it's for your growth and they don't want you to miss the opportunity because you're you as an individual you're growing and you should allow that growth you know we all have ties and everything like that and it's about getting balance in your world and I can see that's what you want absolutely but this opportunity is going to come in and it's going to make you boss up basically and it's for your wealth lay the source to rest because it's your time now and you've been fighting for so long as I can see here and and they just want you to breathe, basically, accept, boss up, remain balanced during the time. Now, the outcome is the four of pentacles. You're going to have money in the bank and it's a firm foundation in your stability moving forward, which I can see because you've got the ten of blooming pentacles. And we have death in reverse. When death comes in reverse, it's an enforced change. OK, it's an enforced change by the universe. When you should have done something and you haven't, they're going to force that change. And it's not a bad change. It's really not. But what they want you to see is sometimes things happen in order for you to boss up, in order for your soul growth. Now, whatever it is, you're going to shine brightly like the sun. Bear yourself naked and true. Be who you are. Be the dynamical energy you know you can be. This is bearing yourself naked and true and just owning it. You know, if you don't believe you can be the boss energy, if you don't believe you can develop that energy, you absolutely can. This is you shining brightly. You've, you've had your enlightenment. Now shine like the blooming sun. You are blindsided by something, but you can get out of that mode. Get out of that victim mentality state. You can absolutely do this. I am going to give you a Lauren slap on the bum. You need to shine brightly like the sun and know who you are, my beautiful Cancerians. Know the power from within. Now, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. It's telling you to take the risk here with the work position. Take the risk. Boss up. Take the risk. They want you to shine brightly like the sun. Yes, you're going forward blindsided. It's probably in its infancy, my beautiful Cancerians. But take it. Just go for it. Honestly, nothing will be lost. Nothing will be lost because you gained your clarity. Look. Look what you've got on the bottom of the pack. So stop questioning it. You've got the hangman. This is when you gain your enlightenment. This is when, you know, he hangs between the spiritual self and the material realms for nine days and he gets that clarity because we've got the emperor on the bottom. They're telling you to put your damn crown on this is going to fulfill your life in every single avenue we have do what you blooming desire you desire this on the inside but your ego mind is telling you you can't do something remember we have all have an ego our ego is the low frequency that says we can't do something you tell it to shut up you sit it on the left shoulder and you bind it with blooming duct tape and that is how you deal with it, because you are very capable of this development. Your energy is developed. Yes, you've had this upskittle, but you've gone through the healing process. Justice is prevailing. Now you are going to boss up. You know, if that in, if that means you training to further that, absolutely do it. It's within your capabilities. No, you can do it, Cancerians. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And you are, because when you do something you love, it lights every avenue of you and it opens your heart up because it's a passion and when we sit with passion it's absolutely amazing so go for it there's no doubt in my mind absolutely go for it is it within your power absolutely don't doubt yourself don't doubt yourself will it change the dynamics of home yes but things adapt and this is when we get a new chapter in our world and that adaption has to help it's development of you so there you go my beautiful cancerians that is your read for july part one if this is your read let me know give me a thumbs up they're completely private leave me a message below i love talking to you and connecting with your energy and i know i'm not just speaking to anyone so don't forget to check out your 48 hourly reads they're pretty dynamic um and your daily angel messages how you do so is by clicking all notifications and if you get a read that isn't yours you simply swipe so love and light to you until next time from my heart to yours bye bye for now